Well, tomorrow night, 48 Hours examines just how far a mother will go after her son is charged with murder. The young soldier shot his wife but said it was an accident. Police did not believe him, so his mother became his biggest supporter. Here's a preview of Aaron Moriarty's report. When Skylar and Danielle met, it was something that you read in the fairy books. Danette Heller watched as her son Skylar, a 20-year-old soldier, fell in love with a buoyant high school cheerleader, Danielle. Danielle dropped out of her Northern California high school to marry Skylar and live with him close to the Fort Lewis Army base in Washington. Danielle was lonely. She loved Skylar, but she just said he's gone all the time. And he was. On October 16, 2014, Skylar Nemitz was returning from yet another training mission. Just before 6 p.m. that evening, best friend Michaela Yingling saw the happy couple during a video chat she had with Danielle. She like ran over to him and like jumped on his lap and was acting all happy that he was home. But 12 minutes after hanging up the phone, Danielle Nemitz was dead, shot in the back of the head with her own AR-15 rifle. I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't mean to hurt anybody. This is Skylar Nemitz minutes after he was taken into custody. Okay. For the next seven and a half hours, everything he said. I killed my wife, okay? I killed my wife. And did was recorded by video cameras. Did you intentionally kill your wife, Skylar? No, I did not. But why didn't he try to revive his wife or even call 911? I was scared. I was freaked out and I didn't know what to do. He is seeing this as an accident. His family sees it as an accident. We believe he murdered his wife. Prosecutors say Skylar Nemitz shot and killed his 19-year-old wife in a jealous rage and then charged him with first-degree murder. They're wrong. They found him guilty before they investigated. Skylar's mom is determined to save her son, spending every penny she has to hire top-notch so lawyer that, Michael Stewart. So I've got a kid that I absolutely believe. I believe this is an accident. But can he convince 12 jurors that a highly skilled soldier could make such a fatal mistake? I can live with, I'm the reason Daniel died but I can't live with being called a murderer. And Aaron Moriarty is with us. Aaron, good morning. Can you. I just make yes. a point that everyone in my office, everyone who's worked on this, continues to argue about this case? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is truly a mystery. I know it doesn't sound like mm -hmm. that when you hear that a firearms expert highly accidentally, skilled. highly skilled. On the other hand, there's very little evidence of a motive. And the reason why we picked this story, honestly, was because we very rarely get to focus on the why. It's always the who done it. Mm -hmm. And when you're talking about intent, there's no forensic test. But in this case, we have a bunch of millennials, so you have texts, you have video. So And do those implicate him? They go both ways. Mm. They go both ways. You know how when you send an email and it can be read two different ways, prosecution reads it one way, defense reads it another. So it's how will it hard. end? Yeah. We're going to have to watch. Yes, yeah. It's hard back. though, Aaron, because he's highly skilled and the victim was his wife. Yes, but he was 20 years of age. Yeah, I see And he had just come home from a deployment. I see. You can watch yeah. Aaron's full report, yeah. The Soldier's Wife, tomorrow night on 48 Hours as the filibuster continues. That's 10-9 yeah. uh, Central, right here on CBS.